Hello, everyone, and welcome to the program. This is Politics Today live on Channel's Television. I'm Shion Kimalea, Channel's Television's global headquarters in Lagos. Well, let's check out our countdown clock right here on Channel's Television just for you to keep track of the events. It is two weeks, precisely 14 days to the opening of the fourth day of ballot in the 2019 general elections. And so many things are happening at the same time. We're getting you right in the mood. This is the right place to be. Get a seat, everyone, and let's get started, shall we? Let's check out first some of the pol political stories you're following for you on our political roundup. Ahead of the 2019 general elections, the Chief of Army Staff says the Nigerian Army will remain disciplined, a political and professional in the discharge of his constitutional mandate. He made this known during the inauguration of the operationalization ceremony of forward operation base in Gembu, Sudan, a local government area of Taraba State, alongside the state governor, Darius Ishaku. According to him, the establishment of the operation base is to ensure that insecurity is quickly nipped in the bud. The Chief of Army Staff also reveals that they have received reports of mischievous plans by some elements in connivance with foreign collaborators to disrupt the peaceful conduct of the 2019 general elections in some parts of the country, including Taraba State. Hence, warns that miscreants should desist from their evil plans or be dealt with decisively. Some of the criminals are the Nigerian police force has commenced training of its officers and men of crowd management and maintenance of public order before, during and after the elections across the country. The training, which is expected to last seven days, is to expose and sensitize the police personnel on how to deal with the civilian populace professionally, especially during the elections. The commandant of the Nigerian Police College, Kaduna, Lawanado, says the training has become necessary in order for the Nigerian police personnel to provide adequate security and surveillance in a professional manner during the 2019 general elections. During a chat with journalists on the forthcoming general elections, the ADC governorship candidate Debeji Bankoli expressed confidence of winning the governorship position in Ogo State. While assuring the people of the state of good governance hinged on transparency and accountability, the governorship candidate also promised mass employment opportunities for the unemployed youth by unleashing the economic complexity of the state for the good of all. He also calls for a paradigm shift in the nation's governance and proactive active government policies to redefine the educational sector of the nation's economy in reality for the 21st century realities. Okay then, so one thing that is very critical for this election is security. And in the past, the role of the military has brought some cynicism about how far they can go in uh, participating in the exercise of the election. So the chief of air staff today uh, told his colleagues that the military does not have any business in politics. Take a listen to him. We must conduct ourselves as professionals. And like I said, we have no business in actually getting involved in the political thing, uh, process itself, other than to just go vote and come back to your barracks. Well, the police too are showing Nigerians that they are ahead of the situation, and based on intelligence report, they are keeping things in check. We have a strategy in place for this election. We have been doing it before, and we have been succeeding. Here in this conference, all we are going to do is just to cross our eyes and dot our teeth. I can assure you that we are going to discharge our duties in this election creditably well, just like we have been doing before, 